Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Red Adolescence and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend if indeed you are watching this video on the date that I decide to publish it. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at a fragrance by the company Parfum Cortana. This is a 2016 release and this one is called Lily of the Valley, so make sure to stay tuned. Now before I begin my fragrance review on Lily of the Valley by Parfum Cortana, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, if you like fragrance reviews here on YouTube, but also top 10 lists, giveaways, unboxings, special guests and more, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner. And of course, while you're at it, please be sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell icon. So first things first, uh, this is a fragrance that came out in 2016. The perfumer for this fragrance is a Simrise perfumer. Her name is Natalie Benero. She's done fragrances for John Barbados, Fleur, of course, Parfum Cortana, so on and so forth. Now, the creative director for this brand is Joseph Cortana, who happens to be a personal friend of mine, and he has a couple different brands. So he has Parfum Cortana, which is named after his last name, of course. He also has Six Sense Parfum. I'm going to leave the link to both of those fragrances down below. Now, the reason I'm reviewing this one today is because we are celebrating the start of spring. That's right. I know a lot of us are really tired and over the cold weather and the snow. I know I personally am. I cannot wait for it to start getting nicer outside. Today is actually in the 50s, and so I'm really excited about that. Fahrenheit, of course. And um, he created a line of fragrances that are inspired by poisonous flowers. And so we have Digitalis, Hemlock, Wolfsbane, Bloodflower, tons of fragrances. And today we're talking about Lily of the Valley. Now there's actually a coupon code going on right now and it's valid for only three days. So if you are interested in getting 25% off your purchase, which is a significant discount, you can use the code Lilith, L-I-L-I-T-H, which is actually the root word of the word Lily, uh, tracing the etymology. I'm going to leave the, um, discount code down below and also the link to where you can join the wait list for future promos and giveaways. I'm also going to link their Instagram page down below. Definitely make sure to follow them on Instagram because they're doing a really cool uh, promo and giveaway on their Instagram as well. So definitely make sure to follow them. And here we have these beautiful apothecary bottles in this deep blue hue. And of course, I'm a fan of so many fragrances from this line. Obviously, Digitalis is one of my favorites. I feel like it's a very bright and ref refreshing fragrance. And there's also one that doesn't contain any orange, but it actually leans in the direction of like an orange perfume. It's called Mandrake, happens to be one of my favorites as well. This one has a very unique accord in it. It has a black leather glove accord in the base, but the notes in here really run the gamut. And so you have Jasmine, you have have the namesake of the perfume, Lily of the Valley. You also have vanilla, neroli, cassis, sandalwood, labdanum, bergamot. It is such a complex composition and I really love that non-linearity about it. So I'm excited to tell you about the smell. Let's start things off with the presentation. So in the opening of this fragrance, you're going to get this really pure floral accord, which I think is absolutely amazing. It opens up with that lily of the valley, but you also have the cassis, which adds a little bit of a musky vibe, and you have a little bit of that vanilla starting to peek its head through. Now, I don't think the lily of the valley is the lone wolf or the star player necessarily in this composition. While it does uh, you know, give its name to the perfume, I feel like there's also a nice bit of jasmine in here. But what I find interesting is that the jasmine is not really indolic in this composition. And so while it does have this kind of spicy, leathery feel going on in the base, I don't find this one to be overly musky. Like I said, you know, the jasmine could have contributed to that effect. The cassis slash black currant could have contributed to that effect, but I actually don't perceive too much of a muskiness or too much of a spiciness for that matter in this fragrance as well. 
So I'm thinking about it and I'm like, what is contributing to that leather accord? And when you take a look at the woods in the base, the sandalwood, when you take a look at the resins, really adding that warmth to it, I really feel like the warmth is adding to that leathery quality in the base and also taking away from the potential sharpness that it could have had. And so a lot of leather fragrances on the market are quite strong, rough around the edges, domineering. I don't find those to be descriptors that I would apply to this fragrance. This one is actually rather warm, very inviting. I feel like the floral introduction really creates that inviting atmosphere. And so as you're wearing this one, and I also have to mention, this is 100% unisex. A lot of times people hear florals or men hear florals and they run away. I actually don't find this one to be too floral of a perfume. There are some floral ingredients, I will admit, that in my opinion do lean traditionally feminine, whether we're talking about a tuberose or uh, Narcissus or Freesia, Ylang Ylang or something like that. But this one has this really pure, organic and clean quality about it that I really enjoy. And so the resin that is being used in the highest concentration here is labdanum. And labdanum is this very exotic smelling resin that I think has an emphasis on sweetness. It really prioritizes the sweet components. You have some other resins like galbanum, which is a little bit green. You also have benzoin, which can be quite smoky and medicinal. Here you have the labdanum. So it adds that sweetness and it kind of creates this amber accord because there is vanilla in here as well. So the vanilla and the labdanum create this amber accord that prioritizes the sweet facets. And so if you're looking for a floral fragrance that has a little bit of warmth and sweetness in the base, this is definitely it. Now, of course, leather is a fantasy note or accord in perfume. So there's no real leather. There's no actual leather in here. But as you smell it, you do actually get something leathery. You get something smooth. I don't know if it's the use of several aroma chemicals that are coming together and you know coalescing and congealing to create that effect, but I definitely get something in the base that smells leathery. And so that's one of the reasons why I'm so intrigued by this fragrance is that it opens up with this pure organic floral thing in the opening, very inviting. And then you have like this really mysterious, yet not too aggressive or too domineering leather note. And if you're buying this fragrance for the leather, I would say, don't. I feel like this is really a marriage of a bunch of different ingredients and of course the florals and the citrus in here really contribute to that welcoming atmosphere of the perfume but I can't really recommend this for somebody who is interested in one particular note probably except uh, with the exception of Lily of the Valley. I would recommend this fragrance for somebody who just wants an amazing very sophisticated, very complex, and very well put together perfume. I think the perfumer Natalie Benero did a fantastic job with this one. And so if you're not the biggest fan of leathers, you can still purchase this one and enjoy it. If you're not the biggest fan of floral ingredients, you can still purchase this one and enjoy it. If you're not the biggest fan of ambers, you can still purchase this fragrance and enjoy it. So that's what I'm trying to say. I feel like it borrows a little bit from all of those different elements, but the overall, a landscape that it conjures up is one that is very sophisticated, very diverse, and not leaning in any one direction. I can say in the case of Mandrake, it smells very citrusy on me. Digitalis, I get this fresh cucumber vibe. Wolfsbane, I get this very dark, warm, resinous, sweet vibe about it, a little spicy as well. This one, I feel, despite the name Lily of the Valley, which I think for one might give them the impression that, oh, this is gonna be floral. No, it, it's actually a very sophisticated, very very complex fragrance. I'm very proud to own this one. And you know, for a fragrance that is five years old now, hard to believe, uh, Joseph Cortana, I think you and the team over at Simrise did a fantastic job on this fragrance. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, 100% unique. This fragrance does not remind me of anything else currently on the market. The overall smell is very appealing. After not having worn this one for several years, because I actually did acquire this one, I think back in 2018, I sprayed this one on about a month and a half ago. And I said, is that really Lily of the Valley that I'm smelling? Not the note, but the perfume. And it just really reminded me how complex the fragrance is and that we shouldn't 
you know, spend a day or two with a fragrance and then sort of make up our minds on it. You know, a lot of times it really will take us on a journey. And this has been an eye opener in that regard for me. It's something that I've known all along, of course, but I think this one sort of proves it and really drives the point home. Very complex, very appealing fragrance. In terms of the longevity, expect about eight to nine hours on your skin. Projection was great for the first hour of application. That's when it radiated within an arm's length. It does have a lot of base heavy ingredients in here like the sandalwood, the vanilla, the labdanum, the woods, the resins. Uh, and so you can expect this one to really stay warm on the skin. And the projection is going to be within an elbow's length for about four hours, I would say. And it's not until that seven hour mark where it really starts to sit close to the skin, kind of like a warm hug. And so I really enjoy the performance of this one. In terms of the versatility, I think this one is great for spring, of course, and that's what we're celebrating here, the Vernal Equinox. Uh, but I think this one can be worn all year long, to be honest with you. You can wear it in the summer in a climate-controlled environment. There's enough of that ambery warmth in the base that really puts me in the mindset of the summertime and the wintertime as well. So I find it to be quite versatile, you know? I feel like the different ingredients kind of cater to different seasons and different occasions. I think this one is perfectly unisex, and I think anybody of any age can wear it. I think it has an appropriate sweetness that it can be enjoyed by somebody who's a little bit younger, but I also see somebody a little bit older, more mature and sophisticated wearing this one as well. In terms of the presentation, I think it's absolutely gorgeous from the artist that completed this synesthetic design on the bot on the uh, box excuse me to the card that comes on the inside to the apothecary type bottle with a dark blue hue to it. My final verdict on Lily of the Valley is if you are looking for a complex fragrance that goes in a few different directions, warm and resinous, floral, but also bright and citrusy, you definitely have something really special with this fragrance. And then of course we have that leathery twist in the base for the ultimate finish, which I think is really, really interesting. So thank you all so much for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. I really do appreciate your time and your viewership. I hope you took something of value from this video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the red button in the corner. Also make sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell. Once again, Parfum Cortana's Instagram information is going to be down below along with their website. So definitely make sure to join the wait list so that you'll be notified of future promotions and any sort of pertinent announcements coming from the brand. And also the Instagram is running a really cool giveaway at the mo moment. Make sure to take advantage of that as well. And also if you utilize the code Lilith, you can get 25% off for the next three days. So definitely make sure to take advantage of it. Happy spring, everybody. I left the window open. I hear the birds chirping. It's bringing me a lot of solace and respite. I definitely do love that. Thanks again for watching. Love you all. We'll see you next time. Bye.